Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another edition of Tool Tech Tuesday. You guys know that I'm a firm believer in Evolution Tools. Everything started with their S380 cold saw and it just kind of blew up from there. They like what I did so much that they asked me to do several reviews for lots of their tools. Uh, basically, I've become per se a brand ambassador uh, for their product and I'm a huge supporter of their product because everything that I've had thus far has worked flawlessly. Um, from my 380 cold saw to the S210 metal cutting circular saw, I've got the S28 mag drill in the case here along with some of their angler cutters and again they have knocked it out of the park with their S355 MCS miter cutting chop saw or miter, yeah, miter cutting cold saw. We have that over there on the kind of new fixture table or new weld table that we're going to be adding to this one right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unbox it. We're going to put it together and hopefully get it put on the stand. I've got my 380 on. Hopefully everything fits. And uh, in the next coming days, we're going to use all the Evolution tools along with Prime Weld uh, to build and add on to the fixture table. So let's head over there to the makeshift fixture table the makeshift weld table and start getting the uh the 355 unboxed see what comes in it and get it put together and hopefully get it put on the chop saw stand before we get started unboxing this i wanted to take a minute and tell you that evolution has more than just metal working tools they have a full line of woodworking tools as well uh, compound miters circular saws uh, they have a battery powered line they've got sawzall drill uh, table saw, they have some other con uh, contractor equipment like a uh, electric concrete saw. They also have a compactor. Uh, they have a huge selection of tools other than just metal working tools. So hit the link in the description. Um, it'll take you to the this miter cutting saw right here. Uh, but also you'll be able from that link to navigate the rest of the website and see everything that they have to offer. Getting into it right here, just like always, it's backed by a three year warranty, um, limited warranty. All their tools come with a three year warranty. Uh, they back their tools 100%, no issues at all I've ever had. This does have a 46 degree angle cutting base. Uh, both sides, it's got dual sliding clamps, a 15 amp motor, it is a 14 inch 66 tooth blade at a .094 kerf, and this one comes with a 10 foot cord. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed, get it all laid out on my makeshift table right here. Uh, we're getting ready to start building this addition uh, for the table over there, and we'll go ahead and get that put together, do a couple cuts with it, and then put it to work the rest of this week. Got the box opened up here already. Now right on top is your manual, a couple of your clamps, your clamp slide, a couple pieces of hardware. This comes with three V blocks for your clamps. I'll show you those here in just a little bit. Got a portion of the saw right here. does come with one 14 inch blade. Um, there is other blades available. They do have an aluminum cutting blade. They got a thin materials blade and they got a stainless steel blade. Uh, this one right here is just a standard mild steel blade. And this is what most all their saws come with. You do have the option to go on their website and purchase of the other blades that are available. You got your top clamp, you got your slide, And then we got the base of the saw right here. Right now we're gonna go ahead and get it assembled and then try and get it set up on 
the stand over there, which this is an awfully large base. And by looking at it, I don't know that it's gonna fit. All right, let's take a quick walk around the saw. As I told you before, we got a positive thumb lock right here. It will cut from 46 degrees one way and then 46 degrees the other way. That positive locks at zero to 15, to 22 and a half, to 30, and 45. And then you also can tighten it up if you so choose. You got your clamp slide right here. That way you can get your pieces. If you're doing a short piece, you can get your clamps right in there. You also do have a top clamp as well. And it is adjustable up and down. You got your V-blocks that will slide on there to hold round stock, to help hold angle iron, to help hold square stock, however you want to cut it. This top clamp is adjustable you got three positions on each side sorry three positions on this side and two positions on the opposite side you do have some extra holes on top of your table if you wanted to use some dogs your backslide right here this is not to be confused with the radial arm saw this is just to help you get lined up for proper cutting on the piece of material that you're trying to cut they send you a guide on how to cut and where to set your blade up to cut your stock. You can see the red X's, your green check marks, where to position your blade on a vast majority of stock that you're going to be cutting with this saw. And then just tighten it up. Like I said before, it does have a 10 foot cord. It does come with a 14 inch 66 tooth blade, or carbide blade rather. And it does have an 094 kerf on the teeth. Just like all the other tools, it does come with an Allen wrench that will stay on the saw, so you're not constantly looking for it. It does have a saw lock to keep it in a down position. And then you also have a blade lock up top here for tightening and loosening your blade. And then you have your guard here to cover everything up. One thing that this is not going to have that the 380 over there is going to have. This does not have chip collection on it, which is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not used to using one of these without chip collection, um, but this saw will not have chip collection like the 380 over here. Like that. So I'm going to grab a piece of that half an inch by two over there and uh, make the first cut on the saw. And like I said, we're going to put it to work the rest of the week, uh, adding and making this table part of that one over there. All right, got this piece of two by half set up there. Uh, I do have the saw adjusted as far as the slide arm back there where you need to come down on it. Uh, the nice thing about this also, it does have an ergonomic handle. So if you're right or left handed, uh, you can bring it over with your pinky or you can bring it over with your index finger or your pointer finger rather and uh, 
everything all is good. So let's go ahead and get this piece cut. This is gonna be the first piece uh, for the table over there. You can see that cuts that pretty easy, pretty much just like butter. And it is cold to the touch. We just got done cutting it. Um, I told you this did not have chip collection on it. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I do not like that. You can see all the chips all over everywhere. Um, one of the things I did like is I was able to hold my piece and then have this piece, my drop, or I'm actually the pieces I need, uh, clamped in place and held down this one fell just a little bit, but that's all right. We didn't, this is going to be, this is my awful. Uh, this is the piece that I need. So I was able to keep this piece perfectly straight and square, uh, really nice on the table, even after it was cut and held in place. So we can go ahead and get this one unclamped, uh, mark this one accordingly and get it cut as well. Then we're gonna check these and see how square it is. All right, so I just made my, get these off here. Just made my second cut with this, uh, S355 MCS. I don't know if I like the saw. I mean, I love the saw, but there's one thing that I just can't get past that I don't know if I would ever be able to get past, maybe because I'm so spoiled uh, with the 380 over there, but this saw and the chips it throws is just unreal. Um, got them all over the floor. Um, I know they have to go someplace. I've got them all over on the table back here, but I would think they would be able to figure out some way to have chip collection on this saw. Um, I don't know where, but I would like to see it um, developed and put in some place on this saw. That, that's one of my biggest drawbacks of this so far. Um, I don't know if it's because it's a compounding miter and the way it moves uh but within here possibly maybe i'll put a chip collector i mean the blade goes in here um you could have it come out the back right here someplace i don't know um well maybe not because it does slide right there um i, I don't know how you would be able to empty it but that's my biggest 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 drawback so far is all the chips it throws. Um, like I said, I'm probably just spoiled uh, because of the 380 over here. Uh, when I cut with this one, uh, there is minimal to no chips. And like I said, it, it collects right underneath the blade. Um, so yeah, that, that's a, uh, it's kind of a game changer for me. Like I said, I love the saw. I just don't like where all the chips go. But nevertheless, um, we got two perfect cuts. As you can see right there, spot on on both of them. So it's pretty good. Yeah, love it. So one of these pieces right here, I'm gonna take this table, lay it on its side. I'm gonna clamp it onto this two by half right here is what this outside is. And I'm going to drill about five nine sixteenths holes in there and uh, that'll get bolted to here. So anyway, this video is not about that. This video is about the 355. Um, like it, but hate it, I guess is what I have to say about it. Uh, it will not fit on my stand. Um, they do make another miter cutting stand that's foldable just like this. I'll have to pick up that stand uh, for that saw. Uh, that, this cut table is too small uh, for this saw over here. This saw measures about 28 inches across. Uh, they make one uh, for their R55 or R255 uh, that this will probably fit on nicely. So I'm going to have to pick if I want this on a stand. 
I'm gonna have to pick up one of those stands to be able to put this saw on. So, all right, so this is Evolution's 355 MCS. Um, yeah, I've got mixed emotions about it. Um, I love the way the saw operates. Uh, we didn't get too much into the miter cutting tonight. Uh, we'll do some of that more when we're building the table. Uh, if you guys want to check this saw out, link is in the description for this one. Um, and then you can also navigate through the rest of the website from that link if you want to check out anything else that they have to offer. But as far as this saw, um, I'm, I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to grade this one just because of chip collection. And I really don't know where you would put chip collection at, to be honest with you, um, after looking at the way it is. So, yeah. Spoiled, I guess, with the uh, 380 back there to my left shoulder. Um, I don't know. This is a tough one for me. Uh, I like to be honest and upfront. Um, that way you guys aren't disappointed if you decide to pick this up for yourself. Uh, also, they are on Amazon. They have an Amazon store. So however you guys like to shop, I'll put their Amazon store link in the description as well. Um, along with the description for that saw. So, um, yeah. Not sure. I like it, but yeah, I'll leave it at that. Anyway, like, subscribe. That's pretty much all I have for tonight. Stay tuned for uh, some more build or some more uh, footage of the build on the table. Uh, I am on TikTok doing shorts on there as well. So uh, yeah, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.